All right, we're back with some more My NBA Era's tips, this time coming from community expert King Jordan. Jordan, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I can't wait to give some great tips to the community and see how everybody use them. We're all ready to get better, so let's start with this. How do you approach drafts, Jordan? Because I know you're on the phone with me being like, hey, you need to do this when you're playing this era. You need to make this trade. Where can people start? Draft picks is very important. I feel Welcome and thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports as we get ready to go with our Saturday night presentation. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analyst, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. And a look at the starters for the Knicks. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Matisse Thybul. Then there's Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Then it's Demonis Sabonis. And it's Smart in at the point guard position. And for Charlotte, Desmond Bain is out there with Chris Paul. Then there's LeBron James. Then it's Rui Achimura. And it's a Kongwu in at the five down low. Out of the gate, some guys tend to start strong, Grant. Others take a little time to warm up. Which group did you align with? Good question, B.A. You know, I, I always liked to start the season strong. And a lot of it goes into your preparation. What are you doing in the offseason? Are you ready when we get into training camp, the preseason? You know, all of that building to opening night and really establishing yourself within the team and also throughout the league right from the gates. Pass to Achimura. Shoots from the line. Another shot. And it's laid up and in by Payne. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Paul passes to Okongwu. Oh, the dunk by Okongwu! Yeah, the vision and the understanding of Chris Paul is something to behold. Smart against Paul. Outside, Caldwell Pope. That's good. And it's smart with the assist. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Hornets have gone just two for four from the floor. Pope loose. Ball passes to James. That shot missing. Smart with the defensive effort. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Caldwell Pope's got five points. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Out left to the wing. Here's James. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Uh, despite the fact that LeBron James is now in the league for over two decades, he continues to dominate. LeBron James! First one falls for him. Doris, a disappointing 22-23 season for the Hornets, especially after making the play-in the year prior. Yeah, I think Shirley looking to turn things around under new head coach Steve Clifford always takes guys a couple of years to get their system in place. It takes time to develop. To the middle. Tipped. It's stolen by James. Paul, shot is off. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Here's Caldwell Pope. And it's New York with another. You know, outstanding start. You've made three of your first four. Caldwell Pope's gone three for three from the floor. Pass to James. Again, the miss by the Hornets. The Knicks have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Let's the three fly. And it's Thibel missing. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Hachimura, the pass to Paul. Three-pointer. That one's good from James on the assist by Paul. Five points in the game. LeBron James has built his game well beyond the three-point line. You've got to check him everywhere. And stolen by Paul. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Hornets? Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break, taking those chances, playing with great pace. Now, here is James. 
turned in an outstanding game against Milwaukee. LeBron James has built his career taking hits. This guy powers through them. He works so hard to keep that frame and his game in shape. Hachimura, the pass to Paul. Here's Caldwell Pope. Rips down the breakaway slam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. James can't get it to go. That's a tough, contested shot for mid-range. Not what they wanted. Well, especially with that defensive player in the area. You know he's going to find a way to get into the shooter and make him uncomfortable. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. First team foul. At the line for the Knicks, DeMar DeRozan going to the line shooting. That's good from DeRozan. Uh, DeMar DeRozan does a little of everything, folks. He's known as a scorer, but make no mistake, this guy can pass it and he can board it. DeRozan hits them both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Paul passes to James. And here's Paul, defended by Smart. Fires the three. Paul shot is off. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. And stolen by Paul. And here comes the break. Here's a Kongwu. Oh, the dunk oh, by a Kongwu. Oh, oh, that's impactful oh, defense right there. Finding a steal and instantly turning it into offense. Here's Caldwell Pope. Outside Tybal. Pass to Smart. Shot clock at five. Tries again. Sabonis. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Boy, that could have been an empty possession, but Sabonis hustle on the glass, turns it into a couple of points. Hachimura with the ball. And there's James from the arc. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got six rebounds now in the game. Here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. Woo! This energy is unmatched. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. They beat the Knicks during their last encounter in New York. In their last game against this opponent, they secured the win because their second unit really stepped up. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. And the Knicks making a change here. Gafford, he's checked in for Demonis Sabonis. Crowder comes in for DeRozan. Monk, he's checked in for Theibel. And Cole Anthony subbed in for Smart. Now here's Anthony. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Wizards in Washington. Here's Beverly. Drives to the hoop. Banked it in off the glass. You put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. And here are the Knicks now. The Hornets making their last shot. Pass to Caldwell Pope. James with the rebound. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Beverly with it. The three ball. Anthony grabs the board. Down low. To the inside. And it's Monk missing. The Hornets with the lead. Pass to Grimes. Now Robinson. Out to Beverly. James goes in. Ooh, LeBron with the slam. LeBron James ever the showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play in the Aldama, the pass to Beverly. From outside, off the mark. And it's Anthony with the ball for the New York Knicks. Blocked! And he recovers it. And again, the Knicks missing. The Hornets shooting right around 42% in the first. James passes to Grimes. It's rebounded by New York. 
Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, they know they should have played better in that one. I'm not quite sure what happened. Listen, I don't fault the effort. That was there all night. It was the quality of play that was lacking. There was not a ton of cohesion. They've got to figure it out. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. You know, when it comes to Cole Anthony Grant, we knew he'd be a good NBA player. Let's face it, we've heard about it from his dad for years as he's joined us on the media side. <laughs> B.A., that's the truth. But who knows, maybe one day he'll end up in our industry as well. Maybe he's got the bloodlines to be pretty good on the mic like his old man. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Now here's Beverly. To the wing, right side. Here's James. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. Jay Crowder. First personal foul. Second. New York trailing. Inside. Here's Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. You love it when a point guard is eager to reward open men. And Cole Anthony delivering the ball on time and on target. Beverly with it. Now guarded by Crowder. Shots good by James. Well, they're calling his number time and time again. And he is delivering. Anthony, the pass to Crowder. Driving inside. And that one hits the back iron. Here are the Hornets with the ball. Pass to Grimes. Crowder against James. And it's James with the jam. Well, you love to see LeBron go to the window and set the tone with his rebounding. That is nicely done. New York has gone one of four from deep. Here's Anthony. And the layup is good. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Here's Beverly. Pass to James. And slam dunk by James. You call this a groove, folks. Offensively, when shots are falling, you're getting to your spots. LeBron James right now on his personal playground. Now here's Anthony. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. The effort on the glass... Fantastic. Helps him overcome the size disparity. A nice shot by Grimes. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. That's tip. Beverly with a steal. And he lays it in off the breakaway. Hey, Beverly's gotten his second bucket. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Oh, got that one up quick. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Beverly, the pass to James. That one's good. He's now eight for 13. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Now Anthony. With one on the clock. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Hornets. On the glass, he was an absolute tyrant, just owning the boards. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And from what we've seen from the Hornets, what's your take so far? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. And the Knicks shooting 44%, a pretty decent clip. So here are the five for New York as they start the second. Devonta Sabonis out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then there's Marcus Smart. Then it's Malik Monk. And it's Thibault in at the three. You might want to check your sanity if you're trying to check LeBron James at the cup. My man can score in there. 
Monk against Bain. Monk passes to Sabonis. And Sabonis Sabonis slams it in. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. LeBron James is sustaining greatness in his late 30s. He said, quote, as long as my mind stays in it, I can play at this level for a while. My body is going to be okay because I always make sure to take care of it and I put the work in. And Brian, call it mind over matter or the fountain of youth, whatever you want to call it, LeBron's work continues to pay off. Indeed, no question about that. Thank you, Allie. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. You know, the very definition of unselfish. LeBron could score every time, but you see his affinity for getting his teammates involved. Here's DeRozan. Great D that time from Beverly. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Beverly, the pass to Achimura on the wing bay. Here's the three. They grab their own miss. Akangu, no good. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Well, I think this is a, a great area of growth for DeMar DeRozan. His ability to use his teammates to enhance the team scoring. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure's real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. And so Paul will bring it up for Charlotte. They've led by as many as 14. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. Yeah, they really worked hard to find shots in that one. Some good play calls and energy on the offensive end. Well, give credit to a couple of their guys for their complete locked-in nature. They were just focused, and they made everything they looked at. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Right side, Bain. It's stolen by Thibel. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Desmond Bain. That'll be a second foul of the game. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. DeRozan with the ball. He had a 36-point outing in their last game against the Wizards in Washington. The other thing, he really changed the pace of the game when you consider how many free throws he shot. Drawing fouls is an art, and really, he has mastered that part of the game. Look, Kongu with the bucket. Good heads-up basketball. Season opening, it capitalizes. For New York, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Tipped away. Pass to Smart. The three is up. Tap and falls. Nice feed from Sabonis. Smart has got himself on the board with a three there. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Adjustments are a part of every game, in every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. The Hornets have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. And he gets that one. Ball's gotten his second bucket of the game. Man, Chris Paul's ability with traffic, with bodies around him to keep his focus and score it, that is special. Now here's Thibel. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Washington. They get it back. Here's Sabonis. Sinks another one. He's on a roll, starting four for four. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Smart outside. Here's Bain. And he goes in for the dunk. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Here's Thibel. 
The Hornets making their last shot. And here's Smart. 14 points for him last game against Washington. And his court vision was extraordinary, too. Let's not forget that. He was flawless passing the ball. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Hachimura finds Paul. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. DeMar DeRozan picks one up. Yeah, you have got to be cautious around Chris Paul. He understands how to lean and when to draw contact. And he can't get the first one. Robinson, he's checked in for Charlotte. And the second free throw is good. All right, let's pretend you are Adam Silver for a day, Grant. You get one crazy rule to test out. What's it going to be? Oh, man, one crazy rule. Wow, great question. Well, the WNBA has tried this in All-Star games. Live ball substitutions. A little bit like hockey. Keep the game flowing. A little chaos to it. Be interesting, be fun, be very, very entertaining. Here's a Kongwu. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Oh, that's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Two points. Smart passes to Thibel. Smart outside to stop the run. Oh my goodness! Smart with a tough finish. Well, if there's any player in the league who relishes contact, it's Marcus Smart. You want to play physical? Oh, yeah. I like that. And that one drops for him. Oh. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Now a timeout called by New York. There's just a lot of wide-open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Aldama's checked in for Charlotte. Grimes comes in for Desmond Bain. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Gafford, he's checked in for Damana Sabonis. Crowder comes in for DeRozan. Caldwell Pope's checked in for Thibel. And Cole Anthony subbed in for Smart. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Akongwu, count it, good. Akongwu's got 16 points. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Here's Anthony. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. Yeah, Cole Anthony is unafraid to take on anybody willing to finish through contact. Yes, sir. Paul passes to Robinson. Shoots over Monk. That's good from Robinson. On the assist by Paul. And the Hornets lead by 15. Now here's Anthony. Outside Monk. Back to Anthony. Driving in. Gafford passes to Crowder. Outside, Caldwell Pope. And there's a three-second violation. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Charlotte Hornets. On Monday, they'll host the Boston Celtics. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Damian Lillard and the Washington Wizards. And you know for that matchup with the Magic, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. You just hope they are able to execute their game plan as it should be a close one. Prime shot is off. The Knicks have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. And it's Monk missing. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Hitting his third shot in seven looks. I love it when guards are willing to get on the inside and go ahead and make plays. Cole Anthony, a scorer by nature. Now here's Aldama. Yet to see a basket. Grimes. No good on the three. I'll tell you, he has looked just a step slow all game, but his teammates, boy, have they come through. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You could see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. And the basket by Aldama. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Two minutes. Pass to Monk. 
Now here's Gafford. Guarded by a Kongwu. And here's Crowder from the arc. He buries Dang it from three. three Crowder's points. gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Ball passes to a Kongwu. Outside Robinson. Here's Grimes. And that's a foul called on Onyeka Kongwu. That's his first foul. LeBron, he's checked in for Kongwu. Second team back. New York has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Paul against Anthony. Over Paul. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. And this is what the really good defensive players do. They anticipate and they're rarely fooled. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. New York shooting it very well. 52% during the second. Anthony, the pass to Crowder. It's stolen by James. And here's Robinson. Second chance effort. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Defensive foul. Cole Anthony. That free throw good from James. A difficult situation for New York. And following this one, they'll take on the Timberwolves in Minnesota. And that'll mark the end of this five-game road trip. Anthony with a bucket. Oh, you love Cole Anthony's attitude. So confident, so willing to fire on the catch. The kick out to Paul. James, outside. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. New York has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. The offensive rebound. Crowder. That one falls. James his second Crowder. make in five attempts. How about the relentless effort on the backboards? Crowder utilizing his size to eat the window. There's the strength of the king. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. And so it's Charlotte going into the break up 12. They hold a real solid lead right now.